Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MatTube. This is a examination series specially prepared for the second year engineering students who are studying applied math in TU affiliated colleges. So this is lesson number 10 and here we will discuss the proof of Cauchy's integral formula. And before that, as always, how to use the video lessons effectively. So here we go, point number 1, 2, 3 and 4. So make sure you follow the points and put them into practice. So let's start with lesson number 10. So Cauchy's integral formula. So first of all, you should be very good with Cauchy's integral theorem that is in lesson number 9 and only after by hurting the statement of Cauchy's integral theorem you should start Cauchy's integral formula okay the statement goes like this if fz is analytic in some simply connected region r then that integral with the red in the denominator so i put red intentionally because look at this if you input z equal to z naught look at this Z stands for any complex number and Z0 stands for a particular complex number. It can be 1 plus i, it can be 2 plus 2i, it can be 3 plus 5i, it can be 6 plus 7i, but it stands for a particular complex number and Z stands for any complex number. So if you put Z equal to Z0, the function which is inside the integral, this whole thing will become infinity and hence it is not analytic at z equal to z naught or it's a singular point okay so the value of this integral is 2 pi i f of z naught so you have to be very good with the statement i'll put the statement on the right side of the screen so that you can check it anytime you like so let's start with the proof so look at this this is exactly the region given in the question this is the description of c a simply connected region r is there okay let's forget about it let's check c look at this the point z naught is inside c okay now i'm going to do some surgery i'm going to take a scissors and i'm going to cut here i'm going to make a small slit so that I can make something like this okay so what I'm trying to do is magnified will look like this so look at this I created a circle so that we can avoid Z naught and this is the small slit I told you and that region you can see here here in C1 that region is avoided this much part is avoided so I can put equal to here so this is equal to this plus this isn't it if you understand this picture then the proof will be very easy I'll repeat once more this is the given region according to the question this is the given region but what I did is I just made a small slit and made a circle and again I came out so that I am able to avoid Z0. The reason is Z0 will change this integrand into infinity. It's a singular point. So I created C1 in such a way that our integrand is what you call analytic. The quantity inside this integral will be analytic in C1 so that I can apply Cauchy's integral theorem. And according to Cauchy's integral theorem, if you have any analytic function, then the integral inside a closed contour. Look, I did that surgery in such a way that we still have a closed contour. Look, it's closed and there is the villain is gone. It's here. I hope you got the point 
so z naught is inside the red region so the red region is here it's not here and you have to understand one more thing this is a circular region right and imagine we are avoiding only one point and we can achieve that when the radius tends to zero and you will notice one more thing when the radius tends to zero this red region becomes a perfect circle and the slit will almost disappear okay if you are able to visualize these things let's start with the proof okay so i have the pictures so that you can check it once more and i'm going to put this is equal to this plus this okay so integral over c will of course be integral over c1 plus integral over c2 because integration is just addition instead of adding all the points here you add all the points in region c1 and the c2 but the good news is this integral is going to disappear it's going to vanish the reason is cauchy's integral theorem because according to cauchy's integral theorem this function being analytic inside a closed contour namely c1 will be zero so we will be left with the second one so zero plus something is same thing so we get this okay now starts the main part okay so can you see the circle now let's not focus here you don't have to think about this part we can focus on this so i have magnified infinite number of times so that it looks like a circle and i hope you are able to see z not and let r be the radius of this circle r is so small so small so small i told you i magnified infinite number of times and the equation of the circle is mod z minus z not equal to r in the la previous videos i explained what is modulus and z minus z not means the distance between z and z not so remember z is a point on the circle and z not is the center and that distance is r so that is how the equation of the circle distance between point on the circle and the center will be equal to r and when you remove the modulus you will get this because any point on the circle is r e power i theta and then take the differential dz will be equal to r okay and now let's write it so z equal to z not plus r e power i theta i just took it to the right side and dz will be equal to r i e power i theta d theta and of course it's a circle so theta varies from 0 to 2 pi when r tends to 0 i told you only when the r tends to 0 it will act like a perfect circle okay so let's just substitute so this is our step and this is the required integral which is equal to this so let's substitute so this is happening inside our c2 so in c2 what's the value of z z naught plus r e power i theta and okay so let's substitute so theta varies from 0 to 2 pi i told it's a circle and the value of z and z minus z naught will be r e power i theta and d z i'm just substituting everything but when does this happen when r tends to 0 actually i should have put r tends to 0 here so when r tends to 0 this will disappear and these things will get cancelled and there is one i that will go outside and we get this step and this is a constant you can keep the constant outside and integral d theta is theta well that's it that's it. that's really easy so we have the proof of Cauchy's integral formula. So I'll be back with Cauchy's integral formula for higher derivatives. 
so as always if you find the video useful like share and subscribe and if you have any doubts please feel free you can put your comments on the comment box so i'll be back so till then bye